Hey you guys, I'm Bella from Bella Maze and you're watching Disney Channel. Who literally did not want to do that? Like, who did not want to do that? Y'all. Who did not want to do that? Who did not want to do that? Who didn't practice that? Who literally didn't practice that? The... Sometimes I just wanted to be on Disney Channel just so I could do that. And I said Disney Channel. I should have said YouTube, but... What's up? I'm Bella from Bella Maze, and you're watching YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've already been here, please do the same as well. By the title of this video, you already know what we're going to be talking about today. And that is the Disney Channel movies you forgot about. You see my... I didn't have a Disney shirt, so I had to go with like the next best thing. You would think I would have one from when I was like a kid or a teenager even. But unfortunately, I do not. I have to go for the next big thing. So, what's up, Mickey? How you doing? All right, you guys. First up, if you're watching this video thinking, dang, she got a big head. You're right. Like, congratulations. And to all my big-headed people out there, you're beautiful and your big head is filled with big dreams. You got a big brain. You got probably a lot of hair because I got a gang of hair. All right. This intro is pretty long, so let's get right into the video. <laughs> let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right, you guys, first one we're gonna be talking about today is Rip Girls. Now, do y'all remember Rip Girls? Like, let me tell you something. I did not, I did not, I did not, I did not see this movie. Hello, college, hello, degree. All right, I did not see this movie until I was like, maybe a senior in high school or I was in college and I was watching the movie why I don't know like of all movies but I was watching the movie and I was like dang this movie is good like I was sleep on this as a kid why I never seen it growing up I don't know but if you seen it growing up wow you're blessed and highly favored like you got the chance to see a good movie when you were young because that movie is good now for those who haven't seen it I'm gonna give a little bit of a review because this is mainly for people who seen them they just like forgot about them but basically this movie is about a girl who goes to Hawaii with her dad to learn more about her mom and she ends up building a close relationship with her dad and she ends up learning how to surf and she builds friends on the island in where she's at in Hawaii so that's really the whole movie the girl I mean she's cute she's a literal cutie pie I mean she's surfing she's cute she's making friends she's taking pictures I mean the movie is good like round of applause to Disney honestly round of applause to all these Disney movies I will be talking about because Yo, Disney Channel really used to be like grade A content. Like adults can watch this. Hello, I watch Rip Girls. I loved it. Thank you very much. On to the next. Alright, you guys, second on this movie list is The Color of Friendship. Like, this might be my favorite one on the review today. Like, do y'all remember The Color of Friendship? Tell me that movie isn't good. Please tell me that movie isn't good. Like, the color of friendship holds its time to today. That movie is good. Like, if you haven't seen it in a minute, please go back and watch it. Because that movie is really, like, something else. Like, they were deep. Like, whoever was on writing, whoever was backstage directing, like, y'all were on point. Round of applause to you guys because... Oof, that movie I'll still watch that movie and low-key get a little emotional but basically the color of friendship is about this girl she's from South Africa this is during um uh I believe this is yeah this is during the 70s uh in South Africa I um this is during like their segregation and apartheid I believe during a time where there's heavy um uh racial tension in South Africa um and this exchange student she's a white girl she's South African but she is white she um transfers or like does an exchange program to a black family and the black family is unaware that she's white because they're like oh she's from south africa so she must be black goes over there for like this exchange student program the girls i believe they're in junior high yeah they are in junior high and um 
you know it's just about these two girls who come together one is black and the other was white she's south african she transferred from south africa to um this young girl this young african-american girl's house with her with her family and um she and they end up building a relationship building a friendship the color of friendship hello color of friendship hi how you doing and the color of friendship is good period insert clip and biko didn't kill himself the police killed him who told you that? The whole world knows it. Just turn on the news. The South African police beat him and tried to hide it when he died. Pigs! The police are not pigs! My father is not a pig! Oh yeah? Then why don't you ask him how Biko died? I don't have to ask him! The speaker was a common criminal. You Americans would call him a thug! Well, whatever you want to call him, he was a man fighting for justice. <sighs> Just like my father. No, what it's like being outnumbered by what? what? Black people? Kaffirs? Do you have any black friends at home, Mari? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I have Flora. Flora is my friend, my best friend. Flora is your maid. If you stop paying her, do you think she stick around? You've got it all wrong, and don't say that about Flora. Who has it all wrong? Me and the rest of the world, Mari? Or you and your racist South African people? Whether you want to admit it or not, you know I'm right. Why else do you think your own government would hide books and movies and, and stupid TV shows from its own people? What are they so afraid of? And why are they so afraid of you staying here? If you didn't want me here, all you had to do was say so. You guys, next on this list is True Confessions. I lied. True Confessions is actually my favorite. Now, this is another movie that... I watched when I was older um kind of like a little bit in high school um I'm 21 hi going on 22 if you wanted to know so when I say like when I was in high school when I was in college like I'm referencing when I was a teenager I'm not that old but I'm just saying to put it out there um so yeah true confessions I seen it in high school and let me tell you that movie I was crying like Shia LaBeouf talented I don't care how crazy people think this man is. I don't care what he's been through or what he's done. That man is talented and always was. I was personally an Even Stevens fan. I love the Even Stevens movie that they did because you know how Disney Channel does. Like they make the show, they always make the movie for it. Like doesn't matter how well it did. Well, they make a movie for it. if the show does exceedingly well. Like High School Music, High School Musical is not a show. <laughs> But it did come out in theaters, like that part, the third one. That's how you know, really, because Disney Channel was really, okay, we are getting off guard now. <laughs> Back to True Confessions. True Confessions is with Shia LaBeouf, and he is a he's a young autistic boy, so it also shines light on autism. Um, and it's really about his sister. So his sister, um, she's a little bit older than him, and she's making this documentary about what it's like to um have a sibling and be in a family with someone who's autistic and the challenges that come with that but also the ups the downs the good and the bad so she's making this documentary to shine light on autism um for her school and the whole movie is really just about their relationship as brother and sister this movie is y'all y'all who if y'all do y'all remember this movie like to me it's the most slept on disney channel movie definitely the most underrated in my opinion i mean this movie shines light on autism it shines light on family dynamics um bullying i mean it's just so good but it's done so well i mean i was literally a teenager bawling my eyes out um so if y'all remember this movie you know what i'm talking about and please go watch it again like that movie is good <laughs> all right next on this list is right on track y'all i'm gonna keep saying this but do you guys remember right on track like y'all tell me right on track wasn't a cute freaking movie that you guys love remember right on track is so it's about these two sisters but it's about the big sister really and they're um they're uh they're not car racers they're like racetrack racers if so they're um racers basically and the oldest she's like trying to the older sister she's trying to um be like the best racer ever in where they're from she's already the best where they're from but her little sister is like she's um her little sister is already better than her at the age that she's at so they're about 
three years apart I believe but it's kind of about really the big sister but that's just an element that you get on the side so like I said it's about her you know she's in high school you get to see how she's handling schoolwork, how she's handling you know dating even you know she meets this guy who is really fine like the Disney Channel boys back then the Disney Channel boys back then stop playing like <laughs> I'll call them up right now like where y'all at you guys do that too like sometimes I'll remember a cute boy from like my childhood or like a childhood show or movie not childhood childhood like childhood show and or movie and like you kind of want to see what they look like now y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm talking about and if you don't I'm putting you on like the people we used to be have crushes on like in the tv shows and the movies and you just in the back of your mind is like i wonder what they look like now like he or she probably grew up cute i'm sure of it and guess what they usually do <laughs> she's dealing with dating she's dealing with you know um trying to keep up in school and the movie's just really about her i mean her life as a racer as a teenage racer trying to be the best and juggling everything that comes with being a teenager but also being a racer and that movie is good like it's just a cute good movie oh, i love disney channel i really do i'm a disney channel big head bruh all right you guys next on this list is gotta kick it up do you guys remember gotta kick it up i remember thinking like i could be a dancer i could be a cheerleader i could be daisy do y'all know what i'm talking about I'll insert a picture but yeah so gotta kick it up it's um Hispanic based yeah like oh I just love the one thing I love about Disney Channel movies is they were so inclusive like y'all had everybody up in the Disney Channel movies like and you you got they really had great representation in their shows and in their movies but um gotta kick it up is so cute it's just do y'all remember that movie like so it's about Daisy and, you know, she's in high school or it's one of those weird like they're in middle school, but like they're in ninth grade. So they're in middle school, but I mean, they're 14, 14, 15 years old. So it's about this girl, Daisy, and she's in high school and it's about her homegirls. And, you know, they are just kind of friends. And I mean, there's nothing it's there's nothing really leading up to it. It's just they ended up making this dance team um and they end up competing and winning and they have relationships they have booskies they have homegirls they're dancing they're living they're laughing learning having fun all of the above see step weather come on now come on now y'all yeah tell me you didn't used to say that like when you were younger like if you didn't know spanish too and you were trying to like be cute and like say something in Spanish. Si se puede. Gotta kick it up. Thank you. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Gotta kick it up. Hola. Soy Isabella. Si se puede. My Spanish. <laughs> you guys, last for this review is Get a Clue. Another slept on movie like Lindsay Lohan. I mean now who knows if you're a fan i'm not mad at you but freaky friday parent trap lindsay lohan i liked her i lived for her i really was a fan and get a clue was one of those movies that i really liked it was super cute i mean it was about investigation it was about getting down to the bottom of things like this movie was just a really good like I think about all these movies and I'm just like, wow, they're like adult movies, but for kids in a way. Is that what Disney Channel is though? I'll get back to you on that. Or somebody get back to me on that. <laughs> Get a Clue is literally about this rich girl, this kind of like spoiled rich girl, Lindsay Lohan's character. Um, and she, her, she's like into like all the gossip at her school and she's real kind of nasty. She's one of the messy girls and her teacher goes missing and it's like this big whole ordeal and she gets her friends together to like do an investigation and get a clue so like everything is leading each clue is leading up to the next clue to the next clue to the next clue and then you know then they ended up finding the teacher and it really wasn't 
like it, you know looking back at it now watching it you're like wow this is a little corny but when we were kids when we seen that that movie was good and you were like on the edge of your seat like <laughs> no really like the suspense like everything about it was so like because even the camera angles like they were like all in and out in and out and it was all weird but get a clue like dang cute movie good movie Lindsay lohan hey girl confessions of a teenage drama queen that's the one I, that's the one i was forgetting I all right you guys that was it like Disney Channel movies you forgot about. True Confessions, Color of Friendship, Gotta Kick It Up, Get a Clue, Rip Girls, Cute Movies, Good Movies, Slept On Movies, Not Gonna Lie. Um, also, these movies, if you have Disney Channel Plus, Disney Plus, thank you very much, all these movies are available. So if you have Disney Plus, if you don't have Disney Plus, download the app, get somebody's email and password, figure it out, and you can watch these movies on Disney Plus, which is also like, but yeah so you can literally watch these movies all on Disney Plus and that's why I mentioned them because I knew that if you weren't able to see them I would let you know by the way all these movies are on Disney Plus so there you go all right you guys in the honorable mentions today because we always gotta have an honorable mention but we have Up Up and Away, Cadet Kelly, Cowbell, Stuck in the Suburbs, Life is Rough, and Pixel Perfect so should I have mentioned those or should I have left them in the honorable mentions? You tell me. But other than that, I really hoped you liked this review. I know but it wasn't, mm, we can't get our work together. We can't get our work together. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know. Um, I know this wasn't much of a review, but again, it was Disney Channel movies you forgot about. So essentially, you're kind of supposed to know the movies already. But um, again, if you haven't seen them, go watch them. I didn't want to really give a review just because this was a more fun, um, like personal opinion type of review for my people who remember these movies. So yeah, that's why we cut back on the reviews and that's why there was no fun quote at the end, but I will always include an honorable mention. And at the end of the day, I'm always gonna give you insight on good movies to watch. and. We're gonna have fun with this. So this is a more fun video. I hope you liked it. That being said, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications and tune in to the next review. Bye. Oh my God, I literally forgot Eddie's million dollar cook off. I think I should have included Eddie's million dollar cook off. Low key.